Alright guys, today we're taking a look at how I went about redoing my interior. Cause, well, Plasti Dip gets old. For this project, I went and got 3M adhesive spray from Walmart, along with a few razors and some suede. Why suede? Cause it was 50% off. Now before I go into this, let me start off by saying, normally, when I'm working on a project, I kind of at least have a small idea of what I'm doing usually. But for this, I had no fucking clue as to what I was doing the entire time. None. Whatsoever. Literally just made up everything as I went along. I mean, like, I know nothing about upholstery, fabrics, etc. Like, like, if you're considering doing this to your interior, I highly, highly suggest getting help from someone who knows what they're doing. And use this video to give you an idea of what not to do. So first I got all the pieces I wanted to wrap. That would be the dash pieces and the handles. Then I started removing all the Plasti Dip from them. As you can see, I didn't bother removing the previous layer or anything before I applied the Plasti Dip. Didn't even bother cleaning it. Next I took the piece that I wanted to work on first and laid it over the suede then cut out an outline around it, leaving about maybe 2 inches for the sides. Next I brought the piece out to the garage to spray with the adhesive. Not exactly sure how much I sprayed, or how much is actually recommended. Um, I only sprayed the top part and left the sides alone for now. After spraying I let it sit for maybe about 2 minutes before taking it back inside. Next, I carefully placed the piece face down over the suede, then I flipped it over to make sure there weren't any wrinkles or air bubbles. Now this next part, I honestly cannot explain to you exactly what I did, but basically I made a small cut wherever there was a clip, and made a cut wherever there was a corner or a curve. Once I was satisfied with all the cuts and trimming, I went back out to spray more adhesive onto the flaps and then the sides of the piece. Then I finished wrapping the flaps around to the back. I did the same steps on the other piece here except in the middle I cut out a big X then cut off the excess material. And as for the handles it's the same concept except there's a lot more corners so there's more cutting involved. And then that's my shitty method on how I wrapped my interior. If you like this video or have any suggestions on how I can improve, please leave a comment down below. Also don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more videos of me slowly running my piece of shit of car into the ground. And as always, thanks for watching.